There are countless ideas that you can do with smart lights. Today I'm going to show you 20 different ideas that you can implement in your home. I have a lot of really cool devices that I'll be showing you throughout this video. Some have just been released and others haven't even been released yet. And if there's anything you want to see more of, comment down below and I'll do a more in-depth video on it. And I cover smart lights a lot in this channel, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be moving through these ideas pretty quickly, so if you want to see more details on the lights or how I set them up, then click on the article linked above or down in the description. Smart lights can be so much more than just a bulb turning on. I have a smart light bulb on my nightstand that changes colors based on the weather for the day. I'm using the new LifeX candle light bulb for this, and this bulb is pretty amazing. It uses what LifeX calls polychrome technology to have the bulb be different colors at the same time. It's not the brightest bulb, but the colors are mesmerizing, especially in person. It's difficult to fully capture it with video. If you're watching a show late at night, it might be difficult to hear if a baby's crying. What you can do is have a camera, like a wise cam, notify you by flashing lights if it detects sound. Oh, looks like, do you want, oh, you're already up. Okay, thanks. We're using IFT and Nanoleaf for this, since Nanoleaf has really good IFT notifications. LifeX also has really good IFT notifications in other smart lights. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Having lights automatically turn on in the evening is nothing new. It can be a bit abrupt though. I have our lights slowly turn on every day in the evening over the space of a half an hour. That way when the sun is slowly setting, our lights are slowly turning up in brightness to keep the room always bright. Having the lights turn on full brightness instantly from a motion sensor can be hard on the eyes if it's really dark. Having the lights quickly fade up in brightness is much better. When this really comes in handy is when the motion turns off the lights. When there isn't motion, instead of instantly turning off the lights and leaving you in the dark, slowly fade the lights off. So if you're still in the room, you can wave your hand and keep the lights on. Oh, hey, no, I'm not waving at you. I'm waving at the motion sensor. Ah, great. I've shown in previous videos how a smart light can wake you up in the morning. However, if you want to wake up to natural light at a certain time, you can by having your curtains automatically open. This is a prototype of the SwitchBot curtain, and it can be attached to almost any rod to automatically open and close your curtains. I would normally have it hidden on the other side of the curtain, but I have it this way so you can see it. It's not out yet, but it will be soon. Links to everything will be down in the description. Lights are getting smarter, and so are the burglars. All the houses with nobody home have automatic timers on their lights. Now. We have to take it up a notch. You can have Alexa guard to randomize some lights so it looks like you're home even when you're away. Also, you can have the motion from cameras in front of your house turn on extra lights inside temporarily if you're gone. That way if someone's walking up, it makes it look like someone's home. You better get out of here before somebody sees us. If you have lights that come on in the middle of the night when you get up, of course you can dim them, but what's even better is making it a red color so your eyes don't have to adjust after they're off. Also, it's less likely to wake up others in the house as well. If your kids are too young to tell time but old enough to get out of bed, they may wake up at 5 a.m., but don't give up on life just yet. There is a solution. Have a smart light, or in our case, a balloon lamp from Ikea plugged into a smart outlet. Schedule it to turn on automatically in the morning when it's time to wake up. It's easy for the kids to understand and can help you get some extra sleep. Smart light switches are the easiest for everyone to use. Here I have a Z-Wave dimmer switch as well as a Lutron smart switch and both of them work amazing. But if you're like me, you also have some smart light bulbs and light strips as well. Smart lights are inconvenient for guests to control. If you have Hue lights, they have a little light switch that you can attach anywhere, which makes it really easy to control. Our family's favorite option is using the Brilliant Smart Light Switch. It can natively control your Hue and LifeX lights, as well as any light connected to smart things. It is pricey, but this thing can do so much more than just control lights. It's definitely worth taking a look at. If you're on the other side of the house, you may not hear a knock at the door. Have your lights flash if someone rings the doorbell or motion is detected to let you know someone's there. This could be helpful in case your phone was charging or hiding in some place in the house like my wife's phone always is. We have different scenes in our family room to match what we're doing. So if you want to relax, then the lights will dim. There's a movie scene that turns off all the lights but turns on the light strips under the couch and behind the TV. 
These scenes can be activated by voice, the brilliant light switch, the SmartThings app on the phone, or the Nest Hub Max making it really convenient. If someone breaks in through one of your doors, you can have all the lights flash red while the siren goes off. I try to be accommodating to everyone in my house. Just in case the burglar is hard of hearing, I want them to know they should leave. Sometimes smart lights can lose power from someone turning off a light switch. This is one of the most severe crimes anyone can commit in our house. If you have Philips Hue lights and toggle switches, then you can kill two birds with one stone. The Lutron Aurora can stop the light switch from being turned off and control your Hue lights. It can't do different light modes like the Hue light switch, but it can dim the lights. We have paddle switches in our house and use a magnetic cover that prevents the light from being turned off. Set a timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Setting a timer on the Echo devices is really convenient, but what if you're not around when the timer goes off? You can have all the lights in your house flash so that you know when the timer's going off, that way your food doesn't burn. If you missed a phone call, you can have your lights flash a certain color. These notifications are only scratching the surface and all the possibilities you can do. I've tried out many different smart lights that sync up to music, and typically, they just feel gimmicky. Nanoleaf's rhythm actually works well and has been really fun with our little kids having their dance parties. Nanoleaf also has screen mirroring ability now that hooks up to your computer. You can use it to play games if it's above your computer monitor or if you're using AirPlay to watch a movie on your TV. It's fun when you want to mix things up. Nova Stella recently came out with some smart outdoor floodlights that can really light up the front of your house. Seriously, I'm blown away by how bright these things are. They use Wi-Fi and all you have to do is plug them in so anyone can hook these up. These Nova Stella lights have dedicated warm and cool white LEDs as well as RGB LEDs. You can be festive with very little effort. You can change the color on the phone to match the holiday and then the rest of the year you can change it back to white, which I think makes your house look much better and safer. I use lights all the time in my office. If I'm going to film a video, I have a scene to turn on everything that I need. If I'm going to work and be productive, I have a scene for that, as well as a scene for reading, which the Hue filament bulb has been a nice little addition to the office. I think it's a cool little accent light to use in a scene like this. When you want to set the mood for that special someone, lights can make a big difference. These nano leaf lights have a fire scene that are pretty relaxing. It's difficult to find good lamps to go with smart lights. I have a few lamps in my office that look really modern that go really well with them. I got these from Amazon and I'll link them down below. I also have this lamp from Ikea with a smart bulb inside. People have taken other lamps from Ikea to make things like this Death Star looking thing. There are also lights like this Loftec ball which has a rechargeable battery inside and it's actually waterproof. You can change the colors and the brightness with the RF remote. This is a small version that's not too expensive, but they can get much larger. Adding some accent lighting can make a big difference in the room. I hope this video sparks some ideas for smart lighting around your house. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.